Good day, my name is Kaijana Henry, and I'm a part of the EFBT team. Today I'll be explaining to you how they share the graph by email using the server works within the controller for the web for the application and which is connected to a view within the application. My email that I can be contacted at is khenr 40 at fiu.edu and the product owner slash mentor for this project is Dr. Masoom Sajadi. If we take a look at the applications code within the trade trader controller resides a share email function. Uh, this function is what's connected to the share graph button within the index view and the and the trader view, which is what the trader trader users first see when they sign in to the project. The shared email function receives a Forex account model from the view because that's the view that the model is using. However, the attributes for the shared graph email that is necessary uh, reside within the base model. So the attributes that we are currently using this is the share using email section, the username, from name, the to name, the signature name, the email format gets set, and the image that we use to send to the desired user. The body of the email is has um, some predefined text. Um, who the message is from, the, who the message is from, Yes, who the who the message is from, the from email, and the body the from email which is one and the body of the email which is the message that the user typed in. So the the function connects to connects using the SMTP client create an SMTP client, and its name is the effort SMT SMTP client. Um, there's no default credentials, but the credentials that we use are those of the project's email and password, which is currently FIUSCIS senior project at gmail.com. And the password has now been updated to students123456 exclamation mark. The host is the smtp.gmail.com, port is 587. Each um, SMTP client has its own port. Gmail has its own port number. So does Outlook. So you, so it has to. So the port number has to be defined based on the email service that you are using. Once you've connected to the client, we create the message that we're going to attach that we're going to send using the client. And this is what we're doing here. We create a new mail message, and we attach the from email. We let we, the body's HTML is currently false, but if you set it to true, then you're allowed to put in several HTML, HTML tags that will be converted appropriately. Uh, we put the add who we we add the to email, so who we're sending it to, the body of the email, the subject of the email, and this is where we are inputting the graph. So we receive the graphs. Uh, base 64 image and we get the necessary information from that base 64 URL using a regular expression match. Once that's converted, we convert it to a string, which is then added to as an attachment using the memory stream. Once that e then that email is sent and once it is sent, we once said successfully, we get a, the user will get a verification e um, notification on the on the application saying that email has been sent successfully. This has been so. This has been an explanation of how the share email works using on the server side. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, Kajana Henry at K H E N R. 040 at fiu.edu and once again the product owner slash mentor for this project is Dr. Masood Sajadi. Thank you.